how's it going guys? Yasuke here, it's pretty season 11, new patch, a lot of new items. Trainer has generally not been doing pretty well. Um, Trainer Mare's been having a rough time this preseason, he's one of the lowest win rate champions in, in the game. Bottom 3 right now, but I do think it's just because a lot of people are sort of building him wrong. Almost every Trinomir player is um, thinking about rushing Navoria, which I think is just a big noob trap. Um, so I have found what I think is the best build for this preseason, and it's been working out really, really well. Um, Trinomir does feel really weak early if you rush Navoria, but uh, with this item build, which is Gale Force, Rush, uh, Berserker Greaves, Navori into IE. I think that that's going to be the strongest build that you could possibly get. Alright, let me just uh, do some Yasuke things right here. Steal a red buff level 2. This will give me some pain. Good. Guy still isn't showing up. Impressed. Whoops. My red buff now. Uh, can I get the cannon XP? Hell yeah. Got the cannon XP. Um, so Gale Force as an item, uh, in general, Riot has always been saying to just rush Mythics. Rush Mythics, they're a really good first item. And all Trinomir players just kind of ignored that. But, but Gale Force is the item that gives you a, um, a dash. I gotta be careful just for a second here, and then I'll be able to go back in. Uh, because I do have the red buff out of combat regen. And Graves is now really far behind our jungler. So Gale Force is the item that has the, the dash, and it also does more damage to low health targets. It procs Phase Rush. Whoops. Um, I think that gets the kill though, so that's fine for me. Alright, so let's go ahead and start building it. And let me actually be able to explain it after all of this stuff happens in the game. One for ones are generally always good for Trinomir because he needs the early item spikes more than other champions do. Lux takes a long time to scale, so if I go one for one it's fine for me. And he also didn't have to burn any spells. So, uh, Gale Force. Uh, dashes in a target direction, fires three missiles at low health targets. Yeah. Uh, the dash drops phase rush is one of the good aspects of it. And it gives you so much more room to be able to stick to targets and get plays that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to get. The item is just massively, massively insane on just here. Um, it was generally the item that you would think about getting on an immobile AD carry like Jinx if you needed some sort of self-heal, but um, getting it as the thing that stops people from being able to peel you is also really, really strong. And the damage on it is also pretty insane. Um, aside from stat-wise, it has crit, attack speed, and AD, which is all, all stats that you love. You're also able to get pretty significant execute damage, which is also magic, which makes it harder for people to build against you. Get boot ward. And since it was a cannon, I was able to back right there and not really have many issues. And another thing is that Noon Quiver is a really, really strong component item to buy early that, that makes you feel pretty strong and competitive. Because the, the issue with Trinomir this preseason is that he's been nerfed a basically 12.5% because crits no longer do 200% of your total AD. They do 175% of your total AD. So... Trinomir also got a kind of a compensation for this preseason, where his flat crit percentage goes up to 40. 
but Vendemir overall early game just feels really weak. And Noon Quiver, giving the 20% uh, bonus physical damage, really does help you just sort of uh, stay competitive in wave roll, um, being able to actually get something done on waves. And uh, makes it just so much, so much easier to farm up into later portions of the game. Feel really, really strong, and it's really easy and free to guess right now. Looks like my homie Udir is trying to make a play right now, so if there's anything I can do. Uh, looks like we're good. That was good enough. Got jungler for jungler. I can accept that. Aw, uh, missed the cannon XP. Unlucky. Nice. that. I can afford to take that. But yeah, one thing in general is that with Tiamat being really bad this season, it's it's gonna be a lot harder to sort of do the farming in the camp strategy. However, I have seen some people try to rush Ravnus Hydra, so maybe we'll try to do that in another video. Because Tiamat only works on auto attacks, but Ravnus Hydra works on abilities. So every time you spin through something, it's um, the Ravnus Hydra could give props. And so that sounds pretty cool. I have to try that out. Pantheon's right there. So yeah, this build overall gives you a much, much stronger bike spike than a Nabori rush. Whereas Nabori just feels so bad to rush. None of the components are particularly good. It has like a Warhammer, a pickaxe, items that just aren't really... Uh, they, they don't really feel good to have early. You don't say, hey, I have my... I have my Warhammer, I'm feeling strong right now. That's just not how it works. But Noon Quiver feels feels really strong to take. Then... Oh. Yeah, just the absolute amount of possible playmaking that you have with the school and just how how easy it is to stick to targets is super nice. And yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I also got really bad crit RNG. Uh, but I did pop her barrier. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get into that. Probably should have just straight backs. Not too bad, it's looking like a game that I'm gonna have to carry right now, which is fine by me. I'm gonna get Dove right here. Oops, Oops. I leveled the wrong ability. Oh, I still got hit by the ult, but I was able to get the kill, which is all that matters. Wait, I just killed myself by minions. Whoops. That's not very good. Alright, you know what? You know what? It happens. It happens. I still have my Gale Force. That's all that matters. If that's not just a little bit awkward. Yeah, it's my first game of the day. Just getting a little bit warmed up, you know? Uh, Yone top is, is definitely just not the best pick. This is to a lot of assassins. But yeah, so Noon uh, Navori Quick Blade, the item that is basically old Sojin, but it works on crits. The item is really good on Trinimir, and it is kind of the replacement to Essence River, which is why everybody sort of tried to rush it on Trinimir, but the item gets better the more stats you have. It's not. Just because that we have 40% crit chance doesn't mean that it's a good item to rush on us either. Uh, Mythics have so much of the power uh, within them that 
it, it's definitely just going to be better to go mythics most of the time. So, so now that we have this really strong, we should be able to make a lot of potential plays, or at least look for them. I don't know where Graves is right now. It's definitely where I just go for the kill right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even need to auto-attack right there. Um, because the the Gale Force Cloud Burst just did so, so much damage. It does effectively take the slot of Phase Rush for the purposes of proccing. Um, It does, it does take the slot of Tiamat for the purpose of rocking big much rather. Alright, this build feels really, really strong. Fenimir overall hasn't been feeling strong, but that's building wrong items. And then yeah, after after this, gonna get Boots and then Navori. And Navori would definitely be a lot stronger right now because we have the... Um, 60% crit chance, and when we get our Navori, it will be 80%. So we'll be able to much more consistently proc that. Nice. That's not a big deal for Yane having a rough time. Should still be able to carry. Uh, that's fine. I wanted to ping him to rotate earlier. I don't think he does the damage right here. If he does, I will I'll be surprised. Nice. Yeah, that's just the power of the Gale Force damage. When carries just get a little bit of distance off on you, it's so hard to play the game. But, but when you have just that little, like, little extra dash, it's it's so hard to play against you. Because I have I have my spins, and then once I get my Devori, I'm going to have a lot more spins. And then I also have another dash on top of it. Because spins only work if you're able to auto-attack something, but it, if you're getting, like, super tight in the fight, this extra dash is just so powerful. To sort of help you get everything you can. And then that execute damage is massive. 257, and then champions that are below 50% uh, take 50% uh, extra damage. So that's that's a solid 400 magic damage. And so if people are building armor against you, it still does the the solid execute damage. Going to be going into Nivori. This seems like the best Nivori build. Just getting the crit. Oh uh, yeah, Phoenix or Deer is uh, pretty good right now. I I can just go split top. Oh, Twitch, Twitch versus Lux part two. Ooh, good stuff, good stuff, Twitch. And her, him getting that solo kill just gave him so so much XP. Looks like that turret's just gonna go down. Get this. I do have ults and Gale Force, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, maybe try to go for that. It seems like that's gonna be where Graves is. And I'm feeling strong enough to go ahead and just kill Graves right now. Red. Oh, and then I'll be able to go for this. Yeah, one thing about Gale Force that it's important to understand is that it doesn't go over walls. Yeah, goddamn, that heal. Very big. Uh, that's fine. I kind of entered it. 
gonna be really better to just wait to use the Gale Force as the uh, execute damage is really big. Like this. And. Just overall, want to spend the stats as much as possible as opposed to just, just trying to go for the Warhammer. Oh, damn. Every single time he is about to die, he just gets a little bit of extra health. Previous, he is the uh, Thorn Mail. Some of the things with this new season are a little bit hard to tell. Like, I never knew that I had uh, previous wounds on me. Uh, it's 12.25 for us to get her in a Vori, so we can just wait for that. But yeah, the, the Noon Quiver is really, really strong as an early purchase. And then once you get Gale Force, you're really, really strong on Trend. Especially if you're taking Phase Rush. If you're taking Phase Rush, like, it's, it's just done. It's so hard for enemies to kite you. Even if they land all their CC, you don't dodge anything. Um, still have all of the extra dashes that you otherwise wouldn't have. To just kind of get whatever kill you want. Let's tech Rocket Belt. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this. That's unfortunate. Okay, I, I just kind of messed up a little bit right there. Well, let's see what push can get in right here. Yeah, Zareth's stun was on CD. That's unfortunate. No, it's still fine, it's still fine. Should still be able to get through this. You also get a Spirit Visage, so that's gonna be really hard. No, we still win this game pretty, pretty hard. Ah, uh, yeah. Udyr. Udyr is going. Going really, really strong. If you guys ever want a fun build to do, uh, Rocket Belt, Lich Bane. Lich Bane into Rocket Belt, I believe, is what he did. It's, uh, it feels it feels pretty strong. I've seen a couple people do it so far. Other thing I've seen that's really strong is Brand's support. Because um, he can get three, three damage over time abilities. Because there's two items that do it. Uh, but yeah. So once I get Navori, it's going to feel really strong and good. I don't know if we should actually contest this dragon. Depends on where they're located. But yeah, all of them are there. Nice, Yone got that. Yone still has the ability to be useful right now. Okay, let's just secure this. Alright, never mind. That's that's a heal. Uh, Pantheon is dead, so they have nothing to wait, they have a Luxel. But yeah, yeah, nah, they have nothing to snip me, unless unless Lux is gonna be coming for me, which is fun. I also just used it a bit early right there, but um, I don't think there was ever a chance to execute him in the first place, so uh, yeah. Kate okay, can't outrun me, same. Fleshy flashes and has Panthe on there. Uh, looks like Red's gonna be coming up, so I'm gonna go for that. I don't have any of my cooldowns up, so I'm gonna have to take this a little bit safer. Okay. Going all in on it. Nice, nice. Got it right at the second. 
So one way to actually, like, I actually kind of took it safer because um, trying to get it as fast as possible gets you out there quicker. Yeah, I had to get him because Kate would have killed him if I didn't put him stop right there. Alright. They shouldn't be able to keep him right there. Oh, goddamn. Oh, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. We do need a previous though. Uh, yeah, I guess that just means that I ignite him right now. Yeah, I had a hold right there for the Luxol. Unless Pantheon's trying to ult me right now, I think I'm fine. Tanks are really strong in the preseason, especially just because everybody's playing sort of damaging champions. If everybody's playing AD Assassins, the counter to that is Twitch. Brains. Go ahead and get this. The Twitch also does have the uh, safety thing, so it does make it a little bit harder. Yeah, yeah. My right arm is a lot stronger than my left arm. All right. I do want to get this wave because 2100 gets me all of my items. We don't, we don't fight this right now. Nice. Oh yeah, got the execute. I know, you ain't. You probably would have been able to get that right now, but... That's not up to me to decide. That's up to the Gale Force to decide. I, I actually don't think this is really safe. Uh, but a gear doesn't take any damage from this, so it's not too big of a risk. It would help if the gear tried to tank. Uh, yeah, we do have this, unless it gets stolen. Yeah, it looks like the Twitch was able to get it. My IE is really close, so I just want to farm this top wave, which I have time for. This this fight goes the way that it does, so it's not a good fight to take, so um, I wanted to commit to not doing it. And it looks like we're going to be giving up dragons, too. But it's fine, because we do have our 3-item power spikes, this is when you start to feel really, really strong. Yeah. Probably? Nah. Unless Udyr takes red, I'll take red. I'm, I'm definitely the strong one right now. Bad. Oh yeah, Prox phase rush right there. I don't think I needed to go over the wall right there, but you know, it's okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Fine, I still got two kills right there, which is really good. And now after this point, you, you have your first B core items, and after this point it's just really situational what you want to get. Um, I think I'm going to want to get the item that gives us slow, and has armor penetration. 
This seems like the play right here. Gives a good amount of ability haste. Um, as a slow on abilities, and then also the armor penetration would be really good. This. As soon as as soon as I have help, I'm fine. I'm fine with giving the inhib just straight up. Eventually, it will be worth it for some of us to get grievous wound. Probably Twitch. Doesn't seem like Twitch is gonna want to go into that though. Probably could have tried to stop the back, but it's not. Big of a deal. The Sentai will be down for an extra dragon, which is really good. Giving us soul point. Not just kind of super fed to him, but I should be able to be competitive with him soon. Where is this one? Item would be something to build. Like, I could build this, but it's overcapping on the crit, which is a big issue. Is that every item item that you would like to build has crit, which just kind of makes it really hard to um, decide what to itemize. But it's not really a hard decision because Navori, IE, and Gale Force are just the best item. So you're just kind of locked out of building a lot of items. Everything wants to have crit. I possibly build this. You see. Ability, haste, health. Um. No, nah, I think the armor penetration is more important right now. I need to actually be able to do damage to him. And he's also pretty much the only one in the team getting any kind of healing right there. There's no objectives up which is really good for us. But also we have an inhibitor down, so so their focus is kind of split right now. Okay, so let me get this. But yeah, the first the first like five six games of the preseason that I played. I was just trying to do builds that everyone else was sort of um, asking of me, and they all just felt so so weak. This is the this is the first build that starts to really kind of feel like you're actually being able to do something. Because before you're just with the Navori Kraken IE build that a lot of people are trying to get done. It's really weak until you get your IE, which is your third item, which just takes it just takes forever to get. Uh, let me see if I can go for this dive. Uh, yeah, we got the Volibear TP out right before Dragon, which is really big. Cool with that. He has no stun anymore, and then I just have to phase rush proc, and his dead man's also expired right there. Oh, wait, I got hit by that. Okay, I'm just gonna get out now. And I'll be okay. 1600. Okay, I'm start to try to farm some items. Yeah, we did were we weren't able to get the dragon right there, even with Abu Gear, which is really really good. I have this. Do I just have to wait for it? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they're not. They're not on Baron right now. They can't. They can't duo. Or if they do duo, their speed is really low. Yeah, that sounds good. I would try to go for this red, but they're all top side. That'd be a little bit unsafe right there. It's totally something that I would do though. Um, but yeah, so the last two items are just completely situational depending on what you want. You could get armor pen, you get life steal. I I've tried bork and bork feels really nice. I might actually try to get bork right now. Uh, it would give me life steal and um, a decent amount of attack speed because it no longer has an active. Uh, the active was basically added to a three hit combo. Pretty strong. Alright, Volibear is bot, so this allows me to kind of do this. Yeah, tanks are, in general, like, pretty strong in the pre- Just kind of a meme that they weren't. There's nobody on the PvE who was wanted to play tanks. They just wanted to play fun champions. If everybody is squishy, squishy fun champions, then the Assassins do the best. Alright, that was probably the easiest assassination of my life. Brought to you by Bale Force. Good. Gale Force active right there. Just did, just did so much. Alright, yeah, Volibear's still up, so we, we can't really fight this. We knew that was down. We're not going to let them do Baron right now, either. There. Yeah, Bork active is really good. Let me see what I can get right now. With Volibear being pushed up so far. Gotta make sure I'm out of vision. Oh, whoops. They have no camps right here. I almost have my Gale Force. So I can probably just get the kill once that's up. Wait a second, she also had a Gale Force. I, I, the Adam's just too OP, man. What can I say? What can I say? Adam's OP. Gale Force down. Okay, yeah, we'll just go for the lifesteal right now. Dragged him out pretty far, and they have to go for a full, full walk back. No, no, we have Ocean up. Ocean is the play. Okay, I'm gonna get this, and then we'll get everything again. New signs. These, these were unchanged. Like... Good. I'm just gonna walk straight, straight to this. And then this is gonna be where we fight. Just forget this, it's GG. And if we don't get it, they get soul points, so if we're not able to end right away, um, we're gonna have some real issues. Yeah, that assassination on Kate was just like... No... No effort into doing. Yeah, I just want to kill that guy. And now I have to kill this guy. Wow, okay. Okay, Yana. So unfortunately we lost the soul. Um, but looks like we'll, we'll be able to get the game. Just, just end. It doesn't, it, Volibear doesn't matter. Yeah, 
we just get the waves and then we push the turrets. I got the slow on them, which should be really good. Need to get an executioner's man. I do have Gale Force just in case they try to go for me. Wow, two shot Udir. The AP god. 700 AP on Udir. That's that's looking some like some fun. Alright, and I'm just gonna go phase rush away. gonna be on Twitch to kill Wolves uh, right there, which it looks like he was able to do, so yeah, he can't he can't really get anything. Inhibitors are down unfortunately, so we were we're not able to get anything else right there. Yeah, it's really just on Twitch to get that. He, he's gonna be the one who can most reliably proc it on him. Nice. That's really good. Alright, he's gonna be down for uh then we bear it. This one is fine. Yeah, like dude, these carriers are just the, the freest thing in the world to kill right now. Yone does not ever need armor pen because of his ability to um, do magic damage and range damage. Uh, magic damage and physical damage and tree damage, so armor pen is kind of useless on the champion. If you're not doing damage, you should just be getting more flat damage. Alright, looks like we're at full build for this game. Got armor pen. Got the extra fork damage. Might steal attack speed. And uh, ocean is coming up soon. Uh okay. Looks like I should have time to get this. Alright, gonna bait that out. Because they're all they all try to go for me right there. You want some? Yeah, you don't want some. You don't want none. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, it's really good to just get the get a life steal item. Work is really nice. Alright, let's see if I can actually get this guy done. I'm not going to be able to because I don't have any, um... Curious Wounds. Well, rather, I do, but I don't I don't kill him within that time frame. But once I do ignite him, I do. I just do so much damage right there. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be an easy Aw, uh, damn. Unfortunately, my Gale Force couldn't get that, but... Thank you guys all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know down below uh, how the new season has been going for you. Do you have any other cool builds that you think are really, really strong? Because I just think the one that everybody else isn't going. Um, yeah, let me let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Good night.